All right. All right, great. Okay. It's okay. You don't have to sit down. You can stand wherever you are standing right now. And those who are sitting now, you may have to stand up as well. All right? So we're going to start this morning and we're going to put on a happy face. All right? We're going to put on a happy face. Okay? So it's Sunday. I know how it is. You want to have a little bit of energy. You know, Sunday is the day that you thought that you would lie down on the bed and wake up for lunch. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to wake you up today and bring you here because today you are going to have food for your career. All right? This is going to be an exciting day. Okay? Can we start with excitement or not? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is you are going to start off. Where is my food? It's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh yeah, it's there. Okay, come. It's in the brief. <laughs> Some people have different ideas with their phones. Okay, all right, good. All right. So we're going to do something called a laughter yoga. Okay, laughter yoga, all right? All right. So laughter yoga was made famous by Madan Kataria. He's a doctor, medical doctor from India. And he started doing this as a form of a therapy for people, okay? So we're going to do some laughter yoga. Would that be great? All right, good. Exciting, okay, good. Now this is how we're going to do. We're going to start off first at a low level. You know, you cannot get people to, it's like waking people up, you know, you are sleeping and then, hey, wake up, wake up, and then you feel like slapping the person, <laughs> right? So you end up do it one at a time, right? So the first laughter is the greeting laughter. So how are you going to do the greeting laughter is like, you walk around, look at everyone and say, <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, you can do that. Can you do that? All right, ready, yeah? Ready, one, two, go. Okay, this is the last 
last one. The last job ever. The last uh, process. Because I got one more to show you after this. This one is that. That was the best joke ever. You know, someone when someone says something, they caught you that that's the best joke. You go like. <coughs> it has to come from the gut. It has to come from the gut. Okay. But, but, uh, you, you, you know, you know, like you know, like the the, the mumbling cartoon. Those who remember mumbling. <laughs> the one. Okay. It has to come from the gut. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ready. One, two, go. <laughs> okay, how are you going to do it? Okay, now you got that. Huh? How are you going to do it? You're going to walk around, point to the people you're meeting. That was a good job. <laughs> All right? Second action. Huh? So first from the gut, another one in the hand. Okay, ready? One, two, go. <laughs> swallow the food they keep it in chambers and then after that the food actually comes back up to their mouth for a second time they chew and then they swallow it again because they want to get proper digestion human being do not have that problem otherwise it would be very disgusting somebody sitting next to you and he's like what are you doing now this is the breakfast I just swallowed it I'm just chewing it a second time all right <laughs> so but that happens to Food for thought. What happens is that, have you seen situations where you go for a seminar and then you learn so much and then after that you just don't know what you learned? Yes. I, got, I got so much. And then people ask, oh, what did you, was it good? Good. Was it really good? Really good. What did you learn? Oh, so much. Yeah, yeah, what is that? Oh, it's very deep. <laughs> yeah, but what is it? <laughs> Memorable. Alright, so the problem is we don't recall. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a small recall exercise right now. Okay, you see the color papers on your table, right? Pick one piece, one piece, and write down one lesson that impacted you the most from yesterday's session. One lesson that impacted you the most from yesterday's les lesson, and write it down. In, in some level of few, not one word, you know, just a few phrase or a sentence, okay? Let me give you 30 seconds to do that, come. Uh, can we have a bit of music at the back? Just, just a light one? Yeah. 30 seconds. <laughs> One lesson that impacted you. Do not have to write the whole essay. Okay, just a sentence would do, a phrase. Right? When you're done, just give me a wave. I know you're done. Okay? Alright? Good? Okay, good. Now this is what you're gonna do. Okay. Alright, music down. Huh? Alright. Now this is what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do now is you are going to walk around the room, find a partner, and tell them what was your lesson. All right? You can read that lesson to them and say that this is what impacted me the most. And the other person will take turn and say that this is the lesson that impacted me the most. And you have to listen to their answer because you are going to exchange the paper and you're going to look for another partner and you're going to tell what lesson impacted you the most from the paper that you're holding. And then you're going to exchange it again and go look for another partner and we're going to do this for about a minute. Can we do that? Alright, please stand up. Alright. 
Read the answer to them, explain a bit, and then exchange. And don't have to give an entire lecture, okay? Just a quick one. Alright, ready? One, two, go! <laughs> Okay, once you're done, you move around, pass it to someone else. They do not want to talk to other people, so you want to break that a little bit, get them to move around a little bit, right? The second thing that we did just now was the recall exercise here. Now, why we do the recall is because sometimes that's what happens. People forget. You know, you just think you want them to chew that lesson once again. But in the past, we used to do recall. How do we do recall in the past? Do you remember? Write down two lessons, share it with your neighbor. Okay, what did you learn? And then they share it back, right? Okay. Uh, you know, uh, and, and that, that, that's how it, it is. But the challenge with that is that that process, that exp that the, the content of it is good because you want people to recall. But the process itself is as old as the man who was walking by the beach and asked the boy, son, why are you throwing the starfish into the sea? <laughs> Right? So you want to change that experience a little bit. What do you do with changing the experience? Two things to change. One is you change the way people interact. So just now, earlier, we used to interact at the table. Change that interaction so that people don't interact with everyone else. So one is you change the interaction. Second is use quality props. Look at the paper that is on your table. That could have been a white A4 paper. Different feeling. 
color, square, shape paper, tactile feel. And always introduce some kind of tactile feel in your classroom. People want to touch something, they want to feel something. Uh, I use sometimes index cards because it's not really in use. You know what index card is? You see, some people don't even know what is an index card. So that's, that's good, all right? So index cards are thicker, nicer feel and all that. People feel nice to write on an index cards and all that. Sometimes in some of the workshop, we actually give you a postcard. In one of the workshop, actually, it's a postcard. You know why? Nobody sends a postcard nowadays, all right? So you put a postcard and you can say, what was the one lesson that you want to write to someone who did not attend this workshop? And you can write it on a postcard and just pass it around and everyone gets that postcard. And right now, imagine what you got is a postcard. That last paper that you're holding is the lesson for yourself. All right? So thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure, privilege. Lean forward and let's learn as much as possible from the rest of the speakers because your moment is now. Thank you. Thank you, Jaya, uh, Jaga. Where is Jaya coming from? Thank you, Jaga.